So, you know, the price of oil just recently dropped, but I think everybody realizes that that's not a sustainable solution. At some point, we're going to have to have other options for powering jets, ships, and ground vehicles. We're going to need petroleum-like fuels in order to power those systems. It's, it's a problem. It's not going away. And uh, just because the price of gasoline dropped, uh, that doesn't mean that we shouldn't focus on looking at renewable fuels. My name is Ben Harvey, and I'm a research chemist here at Channel Lake. I've been here for about nine years. I work on renewable fuels as well as renewable composite materials. And the idea there is to, to take biomass sources and actually convert those to both high-performance fuels and polymers. We're focused on the warfighters, so if, if we increase the range of a missile system, for example, that means that platforms that are firing that missile can stay farther away, so it's safer for, for the warfighter, and then obviously it gives us a tactical advantage against our, our enemies. Just like yeast would uh, ferment sugars to produce ethanol, for example, alcohol, you can also get it to do a fermentation process to produce a specific molecule. So when you go outside and you, uh, you smell pine trees or you pick up cloves and you smell that, that odor from cloves, you actually have plants in that case that are producing molecules. Some of those molecules have outstanding fuel properties. So we're trying to, to leverage the ability of microorganisms to produce these molecules and then are converting those molecules to fuels. I'd really like to see the Navy implement our fuels first in, in small systems where they can make a, a, a very big impact. So missile systems, UAVs, and then hopefully we'll see this transition to bulk production of these fuels where it's actually cost effective for them to be used in, in jet aircraft. The fuels that we produce right now could be ready to, to, to put into the fleet in three to four years. I really want to see it make a difference for, for the military and the nation.